Hey, Peyton, in the run up to Election Day, we are focusing on some of the major races in Jefferson Parish. The contest for sheriff is a rematch of the previous election. Tan Trung takes a closer look. I've had an opportunity. There's no love lost between Joe Lapinto and John Fortunato. In the previous election for JP Sheriff, Lapinto emerged from a bitter race that many believed Fortunato could win. But this time around, Fortunato is facing big hurdles. And he doesn't have any of the infrastructure that he had last time. He had all of the Mike Yeti administration's support politically and financially. He had a, a PR man with a record of winning, and he had a lot of money. He doesn't have any of that this time. Political analyst Clancy Dubo says while the number of homicides this year has spiked since 2018, Overall crime in Jefferson Parish is remarkably low. Voters in Jefferson Parish, when it comes to crime, they're not fearful uh, the way people are in some other parts of the metro area. So I think that bodes well for Lapinto. The last time these two men faced off, it was last year in a special election after former Sheriff Newell Normand resigned. Lapinto got 52 percent of the vote. Fortunato got 48 percent. If he wants to get close to that in this rematch, he'll have a lot of ground to cover with very little money. If you're running against an incumbent, you have to articulate a compelling reason to make a change. So it's up to Fortunato to convince voters that something is wrong, something's broken, and he can fix it. Lapinto has been quick to remind that violent crime in the parish so far this year is down almost 20 percent, and the rate of solving murders is at 88 percent. It'll be up to voters to decide if that needs any fixing. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. Election Day is October 12th.